Good afternoon, boys and girls. Welcome to our children's time. And of course, we get started with, yes, Spud. How are you? Oh, he's good. He was reminding me that he has two songs now. So we'll have to sing both of his songs this week. Remember, Jesus loves me and Jesus loves the little ones like me. So we'll start off and get song, Spot's song sung. Wow. <laughs> so let's sing Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Ready? Sing. Jesus loves me. This I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Very good. You ready to sing the other one? Okay. Jesus loves the little ones. Ready, sing. Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. Little ones like me sat up on his knee. Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. All right, very good. So say goodbye. You'll see him next week. All right. So today we have a new song, and this one is a hymn. Sometimes we sing it in church. It's probably been a long time since we sang it. No motions to it. So you listen while we sing it, and then we'll sing it together. Simply trusting. Ready, sing. Simply trusting every day. Trusting through the stormy way. Even when my faith is small, trust in Jesus, that is all. Trusting as the moments fly, trusting as the days go by. Trusting Him, whatever befall. Trust in Jesus, that is all. Okay, very good song. Teaching us about trusting the Lord in everything. So let's all sing it together. Watch the words. But let's do it good. Simply trusting, ready, sing. Simply trusting every day. Trusting through the stormy way. Even when my faith is small. Trust in Jesus, that is all. Trusting as the moments fly. Trusting as the days go by. Trusting Him, whatever befall. Trust in Jesus, that is all. Okay, very good. Now the next one, it goes with our lesson, and it pretty well tells the lesson just in the song. But we're going to sing it, and then we're going to have our lesson, and then we'll sing it again. So you listen as we sing it, watch the words carefully, and listen how it goes. God caused the sun, ready, sing. God caused the sun to stand still so we could see his power. God caused the moon to stand still so we could see his power. When we see what God can 
can do. We will but trust Him through and through. When we will trust Him to give us the victory. We see that our power is from God. Okay, so let's try it, sing it together now, and then we'll have our lesson. God calls the sun, ready, sing. God calls the sun to stand still, so we could see His power. God caused the moon to stand still, so we could see His power. When we see what God can do, we will but trust Him through and through. When we will trust Him to give us the victory, we see that our power is from God. Okay, very good. You may be seated. So we're talking today. We're going to be in Judges and chapter 10, or Joshua, sorry, Joshua chapter 10. So turn in your Bibles, if you have them there, Joshua chapter 10. And while we're doing that, I'm going to have a word of prayer. Lord, we thank you for this day. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Lord, that in so, so many ways you show us your power. You show us your love. You care so much for us, love, that you went to the, Lord, that you went to the cross. Pray that you will just bless this lesson, that it might be profitable for these kids in their lives, that they would listen and learn about you in all things. Go with us, meet the needs, use my lips to say those things. In Jesus' name, amen. So we're talking here about Joshua and God's people, the Israelites. And so God had told Joshua to take the people into the promised land. And we know some lessons about Moses and all that, but we're talking on beyond when they went into the promised land, there was many things that had to happen. And one of those that they had to fight a lot of people to get them out of their land because it was the land that God had given them. So it belonged to them. And these people were there. And so they had to fight to get them out. Now, let me ask you, how would you feel if somebody came and began fighting you for land that belonged to you? Well, you would not like it. And so they did not like that. So they went in. And so the people, there was one place, the people of Gibeon. And they became friends with the people of Israel. And Joshua made peace with them. So that means that Joshua and the army of Israel did not attack them. They did not fight with them. But there was one time when a bunch of the other kings in the area learned that Gibeon was friends with Joshua and the people of Israel. And so they attacked Gibeon. And so what happened? The king of Gibeon sent word to Joshua, please come quick. And if we look in excuse me, verse 6 of chapter 10 says, The men of Gibeon sent unto Joshua to the camp of Gilgal, saying, Slack not thy hand from thy servants. Come to us quickly and save us and help us. For all the kings of the Amorites that dwell in the mountains are gathered together against us. And so what did they say? They said, Joshua, come quickly. We need your help. You promised to be with us. And so they went and they went against those kings. And so he told them, uh, Joshua told them, don't be afraid. In verse 8, it says, And the Lord, well, the Lord told Joshua, The Lord said to Joshua, Fear them not, for I have delivered them into your hand. There shall not a man of them stand before thee. And so he said, Don't be afraid. I'm going to be with you. I'm going to help my people. So don't worry about it. And so understand, Joshua was a long ways. And so Joshua and the army had to travel a long ways to get there. And they went up there. And they had to travel all night to get there. And as they begin the battle, they begin to have the victory. And God helped them. He sent giant hailstones from the sky that would beat down upon the enemy. 
Now, we normally see little hailstones that maybe look small. Sometimes they can look a little bit bigger, sometimes like a baseball. But these were big enough to kill a man. God can do that because he's God. And so the Bible tells us that he did that there in verse... Um, I didn't write it down. Uh, there in verse 11. And the Lord cast down great stones from heaven with them unto, and they died. What? So God was helping them have the victory. And so think what it would happen if those began coming out of the sky. They would surely retreat, but they did not retreat. They kept fighting, and the day kept getting longer and longer. And Joshua knew that what was going to happen if it got dark. What would happen if it got dark? Well, if it gets dark and you're in a battle, what happens? You can't see the enemy. You can't tell who's the enemy. You might be killing your own men. You can't see. You need light to fight a battle properly. So it tells us that Joshua did something very special. In verse 12, it says, Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. Now, Imagine that. What did he say? He talked to the sun, and he told the sun, he said, stand still. Now, what does that mean? Well, if you learned in your geography, you learned in science, that the sun goes around the earth. Huh? It goes around the earth. And that's why right now we have day, but the people on the other side of the earth, they have night. Like my family that lives in America, right now it's nighttime for them. Here we are in the Philippines and it's morning time. So he told, they wanted to have light. So he told the sun, you stand still. No more going around the earth. You stand still right here. And then he said, moon, you stand still. <coughs> so we had the sun and the moon standing still. It did not get dark. It did not get where they could not see. It stayed day. Now you say, well, why the moon? Well, the moon comes in darkness, right? And he didn't want the moon to go because there was light. And so he said, stand still. Now understand something. In verse 14, it says, and there was no day like that before it or after that that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man, for the Lord fought for Israel. There never had before this day the sun and moon to stand still. And something else, there never has been another day like that. Never has the sun and moon stood still again. So how did that happen? God. You say, well, but Joshua was the one that said it. Yeah, but Joshua was fighting for God. God was fighting with the children of Israel. And he wanted them to have the victory. He told Joshua they would have the victory. And so what happened? When Joshua told them to stand still, God made it happen. He made it happen. It had never happened before. And it only happened, why? Because God. God was fighting for Israel. That's what it said there in verse 14. For the Lord fought for Israel. Wow, what a blessing to know that God was fighting for them. And he caused the sun and moon to stand still so they could have daylight, so they could have the victory. Now, boys and girls, understand something. God is still fighting for his people. Not just Israel, but for those of us who have Jesus in our heart, God helps us fight our battles. He's there. He's fighting for us. When Satan comes and wants to cause problems, God is fighting for us. 
He's there. He's with us. He lives in our heart and he is fighting. Why? Because he loves us. He wants us to have the victory. But we can't have the victory without God. Joshua's words alone could not cause the sun and moon to stand still. It was God. God had said, you're going to have the victory. And when Joshua saw that he needed more daylight and he told them to stand still, how do you think he thought of that? Well, God was in Joshua's life. And God listened when Joshua spoke. Joshua said, sun stand still, moon stand still. And God made it happen. Joshua didn't make it happen. God made it happen. And God will do the same thing in our life. I'm not saying he'll stop the sun and moon for us. We don't need that. But the problems, the battles, the, the difficulties in our life, God will fight for us. Because he loves us. And he wants us to be what we ought to be. Our memory verse today is verse 13, the last part of it there, or the first part of it. And the sun stood still and the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. That's our memory verse. Think about that. The sun stood still. <coughs> Excuse me. The sun stood still and the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. What does that mean? That means that the sun and moon stood still until God had given them the victory. Yeah. yeah. They needed daylight to finish the victory, and God gave them daylight. So understand, Joshua said, sun, stand still, moon, stand still, and it happened. Up to that point, they had been moving around the earth. They had been moving around the earth. But when Joshua said, sun, stand still, moon, stand still, they quit going around and they stood still right where Joshua was so that they could have daylight and have the victory. We have the same God that Joshua had. He's our God. If he lives in our heart, he will help us have the victory. We just have to trust him. Like our song said, simply trusting every day. Now, why did God do that? Well, yes, he wanted to give them the victory, but he also wanted to show us his power. Do you know that scientists even today look back and try to find how that there are some hours missing? And they go back to the day of Joshua when he said, sun and moon stand still. And that's where they find it. Yeah, that's true. Understand, God can do the impossible. The New Testament tells us what? With God, nothing shall be impossible. Even what you and I think is impossible, God can do it. So we need to what? Simply trust him. See his power and allow him to work in our lives because he's there. He's strong. He can do anything. He can do anything. We just have to trust him to do it for us. Lord, we thank you for this day. I pray that you will just guide and direct, meet the needs in these kids' hearts, help them to recognize that you are all powerful, that you love them, that you want to take care of them and that you want to meet their needs. You want to help them. Help them to look at you to take care of them and to simply trust you day by day. Go with us now. Meet the needs. Strengthen our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so let's stand up and let's sing our song again about God caused the sun to stand still. God caused the sun. Ready, sing. God caused the sun to stand still <laughs> so we could see his power. God caused the moon to stand still 
so we could see his power when we see what god can do we will but trust him through and through when we will trust him to give us the victory we see that our power is from god one more time god caused the sun to stand still so we could see his power god caused the moon to stand still so we could see his power when we see what god can do we will but trust him through and through when we will trust him to give us the victory we see that our power is from god okay very good so remember trust the lord see his power in all that we do now remember learn your memory verse <coughs> excuse me joshua chapter 10 verse 13 a Make sure you learn it. And the sun stood still and the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. So learn that. Remember, we're having a contest June, July, August. Learn all the memory verses for that and you'll get a prize. So work at it. Keep doing. I've had several that are keeping up with it. So you be one of them too. So bye-bye, kids. We love you. See you next week. Wait, <laughs> before we say goodbye, we are going to sing another song for Mam Pam because this coming <laughs> Friday, she will be celebrating her birthday. So we are so thankful for you, Mam Pam, for Thank teaching you. the children's time. Okay, kids, can you sing with me a happy birthday song to Mam Pam? Okay, ready? Sing. Sir Donald will sing also. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. We do another verse. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mam Pam. Verse Thank 2. You. Happy birthday to you. Only one will not do. May God bless you and keep you the whole year through. I think. That's Happy okay. birthday! <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Thank Happy you. Happy birthday, Mom. Thank you. See you next week. <laughs>